Hey guys and gals, August here, and today I am going to be starting a new series. Um, pretty much a couple of people have asked me about how to use Minimator since I've been fooling around with it a bit. And if you don't know what Minimator is, pretty much it's a simple Minecraft animation program. And so, it's very, very simple like I just said but for this series basically all I'm going to be doing is doing relatively short episodes and showing you guys how to work this program and if you have questions on how on what you want me to do next or or on Minimator in general let me know and I will answer them in the next um, episode so we're going to get started, and yeah, so the first thing you want to do is, this is pretty much what you're going to get the first time you open up Minimator. So what you want to do is just click on the characters tab over here, just like this, and click add. This will automatically add the basic Steve Minecraft model, and with this you can move them around, you can do whatever, and if you don't want a human, you can change it to any model you like. So squid, a villager, a ghast, and all of these have movable parts to them. And so yeah, I'm just gonna go with a human as the basic person for our tutorial. Now the way I am moving is you hold down your right mouse button and you press the A, S, W, and D keys. And then to go down you press Q and to go up you go E. It's very, very simple and you just zoom in and out with your scroll wheel. So, we, so you already have the very, very basics of Minimator. The only thing I'm going to be going through today is how to use keyframes and how to move your character around. And so the first thing we want to do for animating is on this timeline here, once you create your character, it'll say it right there, just click right on the timeline and you'll get what's called pose properties. And so these little yellow parts here, these are the parts that you're allowed to move and that you can move. So for example, this is his left arm. And so for rotation, I can move it back, I can move it forward. You can just make it look like he's waving. And then if you just want to move the entire character itself, all you have to do is click on this little gray area out here. So that moves your character so that you can rotate it this way, you can rotate it that way, whichever way you wanna do it. And then this here, position, will move your character wherever you put it on this grid. It gets, it takes a little while to get used to, but it's very, very easy to get used to. And so, for this one, I'm just going to make it seem like he's waving. Oh, oh. Okay, so we're going to use his left arm. No, oh, we don't want to move it back. We don't want to rotate it that way. So his hand's just going to go right here. And so that's your first keyframe. Now, you can move this little black line thingamajig whatever you want to call it. I don't think there's a real name for it. Or you can just click again on the timeline and that'll make your second keyframe. And all you have to do is this will stay highlighted for the part that you're animating and drag it down. And so with that, it'll look like he's waving. And just to complete the animation, bring it back. And there is your very, very first 
basic animation. Simple as pie. Although, pie is not easy to make. <laughs> right, so. Now, let's say you don't want the Steve skin. What you want to do is go back to your characters tab right here. And where it says skin default, click on that and click browse. And from there, you will come up with a screen such as this and you just locate your skins. And so for this one, I don't know what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use Herobrine for all we know. And so there's Herobrine and instantly the skin changes. Simple as that. And so we simply have Herobrine waving. Okay. And just to name your character, you click on the bar above that and you can name it. So for this, I'm just gonna name it Herobrine. And there you go, Herobrine. It'll be renamed on the timeline as well. And up here on the characters palette, you can have more than one character. So to do that, again, you just click add. Oh, oh, that does not look good. And you have your other character. Again, this will come down on the timeline, and you just do what you did again um, the first time. You make a keyframe, and I'm just gonna move this guy over. And so now, we have Steve and Herobrine standing right next to each other. Very, very simple and very, very basic. And so to close out of your pose properties, I forgot to mention this earlier, you will see a little X up here. Just click that and it'll bring you back to your project properties screen. Now, let's say we want to give Steve a sword to hold. You go down to objects. I'm just gonna close this out, but I'm gonna go to objects and you're gonna click add. And from there, by default, it selects the leather helmet. Um, all these images you see here, they're gonna end up flat, so you can't really put armor on your characters, unfortunately. And since this is still in beta, we have no idea what he's gonna add, or she, I don't know. But just pick yourself a sword, and for this one, I'm going to use an iron sword. And so you have your little iron sword here, you can just click it to stone, wood, whatever one you like. And of course, down here, it made itself a little track. And all you have to do is position your sword the way you want it. And just rotate it, just like so. And just bring it up. Like I, I'm still not even used to this grid, so bear with me here. Bring this forward and then, oh, no, nope, don't want that one. Pardon me. And bring this down and then back up. And as you can see, it totally looks like he's holding a sword, not really. But you get the general idea. This isn't a, this isn't like a 10 minute process. If you wanna do really big animations, they take a couple of hours to do. And I will show you an animation at the end of this video that I, that I worked on as my first animation. And that took me about maybe two hours to do a 10 second clip. And now, all you want to do is on object to bind it to Steve you go back to your project properties and under objects that'll be named object one I'm just gonna name it sword for now click OK scroll down and there will be this little checkbox here to lock to a character or object just click on that 
And now you can parent it to either Hero Rhyme or Steve. So I'm gonna parent it to Steve and I'm just going to position it onto his right arm. Now this is gonna move again and so you're gonna have to remove it unfortunately but that's a relatively basic fix. Good enough. Um, now, when we go back into characters, oh, that's the wrong arm. Is this one? And now, the sword moves with Steve. And there you have it. Just your fairly basic uh, keyframes and animation. Um, next episode, I will go in. I will go more in depth on how to use this program. I will show you how to add a camera, and I will show you how to render out your clip. Now, with this series, I am going to assign some homework if you choose to do it. I am not forcing you, but if you want to, you may. And for that homework, all you have to do is pretty much. Make me a basic animation. Do not post it to this episode because I have not showed you how to render it yet. Or if you do know how to render it and export it, feel free to leave it as a video response. Excuse me, I'm stuttering over my words. And for the homework assignment, I will leave it at the end of the video and it will, in it will have to include three things. So watch until the end of the video and you will see what those three things are, and then you can attempt to do those on your own. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next episode. Bye!